Hi, I'm Vox, the stream professor, and welcome to a new format I'm trying out here called Streamer Bytes, where I give you bite-sized answers to questions I get a lot that will help you quickly get kind of a basic understanding of specific concepts to directly answer the question you have without necessarily going into detail on all of the extra stuff you may not actually care to learn, but I will either have a video coming soon on or already have a video up answering all of those nitpicky kind of details to your questions and I will link them below as they are relevant. And these come primarily from TikTok, as I am using my TikTok filming setup here, and the goal is to quickly answer questions over there, so give, give me a follow, at Vox if you'd like. But some of these will come from YouTube comments as well. The first question for today's video actually does come from a YouTube comment, and it's asking, do game capture cards like the Elgato HD60 S Plus use their own encoder or render, or do they render using your PC only, and the Elgato only converts and sends to the PC? So this is a great question. They're asking if capture cards have onboard video encoders to do the encoding and rendering of your live stream or if that relies on your computer and the capture card is purely to serve as an input. And basically these days capture cards are only built to serve as inputs. Previously in the USB 2.0 era of capture cards, some of the gaming ones uh, kind of cut corners and helped make things easier for gamers by doing encoding on the card specifically for recording. This was before streaming was big, but if you ever streamed you were still using your processor or your graphics card or whatever to handle that encoding and that is still desirable today most capture cards do not have any sort of onboard video encoder and you don't really want that because especially when you're live streaming you're layering multiple sources on top of each other that come from somewhere other than the capture card so to pass that back from your graphics card where everything's being layered onto each other to the capture card then encode that back to your computer and a stream is just a long trip that is not very performance benefiting and the quality from those encoders is very poor. So generally speaking, you don't want one that does that anyway. Now, I will say that I had an entire video up from like three years ago talking about why capture cards don't have onboard encoders and why that's kind of a good thing because they weren't ever super great. I will admit, however, the video was kind of a mess and so I don't blame you if you can't really sit through it or if you find it a little bit more confusing. So I will have another video coming on the subject. I'm finally getting in the swing of things for making content and stuff. So. As, as I can get there, I will get there. The second question does come from TikTok. It says, just wondering, does Twitch or YouTube support HEVC slash H265? And do you get any benefits when you stream using those more efficient codecs? This is a great question. For those who don't know, HEVC or H265 is a newer video encoder. It's newer than H264, which is what most video streams use and what, you know, you download your movie rips in or whatever. H.265 is more bitrate efficient, which means you can get more quality for your file size. So for example, it's tough to get a good looking 1080p stream at Twitch's maximum bitrate, but with HEVC or H.265, you could theoretically get a much higher quality stream. Whether or not you can actually stream it is kind of hit or miss. Twitch does not support it at all. In fact, they are all in on a new video codec called AV1, which is way more bitrate efficient and would allow up to 1440p, 120 frames per second streaming and a bunch of other crazy things. I have multiple videos of it on my YouTube channel. Go check that out. Uh, but YouTube has recently added HEVC or H.265 support, but you need a plugin for OBS. It's not natively supported due to licensing issues, among other things. So I'll have a YouTube video on my channel coming soon about this very thing. So I didn't include it for the TikTok copy of that recording, but using the StreamFX plugin, you can actually stream using H.265 through NVIDIA or AMD cards, I believe. Uh, and that is how you will set it up and you have to use the new HLS settings that they introduced for HDR. It's this whole thing because it's not technically supposed to be supported, but by supporting HDR through HEVC, they added support for it. And OBS can't really natively support it because there's so many licensing issues with H.265 that they can't really include it by default or they may have to pay a ton of licensing fees and a whole bunch of mess with that. So I will have a dedicated video on streaming to YouTube with H.265 coming soon. However, with Twitch, that's a no-go and you're just gonna have to wait on AV1, unfortunately. So that's it, I'll try to keep the format to two questions that I think are loosely related that would benefit you to learn the answers to even if you don't learn the whole nitty gritty details of what's going on with them. Let me know what you think about this new format in the comment section down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed, subscribe for more tech education and stream guides, and send this to a friend if they have this question for you. Go follow me on TikTok, at Vox. I'll see you in the next one.